Okay, I'm definitely getting better at this, and I want to write down, you know, what I like to write down. So it's going to be four, four, two m squared over n four plus four three two m squared over n three five n squared over m plus four two two m squared over n two and what do you get there five n squared over m two well you know i'm kind of running a room so i gotta keep going and it's plus four one 2m squared n, 5n squared m, and that's going to be 3 now. And then last but not least, you can get 4, 0. Uh, then it's going to be 5n squared over m to the fourth power. And we certainly pointed out patterns to this before. I'll point them out again to you. The sum of the exponents is always going to be 4. Let's see, that's a 1, 3 is 4, and a 4. How many terms are going to be? There's going to be five terms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What else do I know? I know these binomial coefficients are fairly easy to write down, by the way. This would be 1. Let me get a pen out. This will be 1. This will be 1. This will be 4. This will be 4. And the other one, it's really not that bad to do. If you want to write it down, I'll point out what it means. It means 4 factorial over 2 factorial, 2 factorial, which is 4 times 3 times 2 factorial, so over 2. So that would turn out to be the number 6. All right? So my, my gut feeling about this one, it really is not that bad to do. And the first term, if I wrote it down, again, this is the first term. It looks simple to do. I mean, 2 to the fourth power is 16. And m squared to the fourth power is m8 and n to the fourth power is n4. That's done. Let's go to the next term, plus. A little more complicated, so I have to do it in, in stages. So I can say it's, it's 4 times, well, 2 cubed is going to be 8, and then I got a 5. So what's the number going to be? Well, let's see. It's going to be, let's see, 4 times 5 is 20, 160. All right, I got to do the letters now. All right, I'm going to erase her out. I'll erase this business over here. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to erase the things I'm done with. I, I'm done with this. And I want to really do, you know, kind of do one thing at a time. I'm in a second term now, right? I've already got the number done. But now i got to do the letters. So what do I see? I see M6, N cubed, and then I see N squared over M. I need to reduce that. So I would get M5, and let's see, and I get an N. All right, I'm going to erase that now. I'm done with this guy. I've done that. And again, I'm trying to, you know, methodically go through the problem basically one term at a time. Let's do the next one. A little more complicated, but I'm going to do the number first. It's going to be 6, and then 2 squared is 4, and 5 squared is 25. Well, 4 times 25 is 100, and 6 times 100 is 600. So I got the number done. I want to do the letters now. And what's the letters going to be? M4, N squared, N4, M squared. Well, if you had reduced that, you'd get M squared, N squared. I'm going to erase this thing, you know, kind of one term at a time, so to speak and I need to move forward. We'll look at the key later once we get done. All right, getting a little more confident, which is always a recipe for disaster. Let's do the number. It's four times two, and five cubed is 125. Two times 125 is 250. Four times 250 is 1,000. Now I'm gonna do my letters, and that's m squared n n6, m cubed. Well, that's going to be n5, 
and the M, it's just going to be one M on the bottom. Get my eraser out, and I think I just finished this term over here. And I got this last term to do now. Doesn't look that bad to me. So 5 to the 4th power, 5 times 5 is 25, 125 times 5, 625. So let me write that down. And then you can get N8 over M4. Get my eraser out, and I'm done with that term. Again, some students are quite good at this. They do it without doing too much writing. Other students do a lot of writing. Whatever works for you. All right, let me get my little red pen out, though, my marker, and see if we got these terms over here. So far, so good. Everything's working as advertised. Thank you.